Yo, what up tubers? It's your boy Scotty Z coming at you with another EVT video. Today's video we're gonna be going over the Cummins L9 uh, thermostat housing and thermostat. Uh, on this particular unit, the uh, thermostat housing was leaking around the bolt area. Uh, I take it off and you can see there's a lot of buildup on the where the thermostat seal seals against the housing. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are with the Cummins L9. Um, we're gonna do the thermostat. Uh, the thermostat was leaking, and this is a fairly new engine too. Um, gonna be one of the one of the easier thermostats to replace. Um, start off obviously by draining your coolant. On this particular unit, it's a uh, Pierce puck enforcer, um, and then there's a drain cock right here. Open that up, drain your coolant on the uh, Dash CF pucks uh, on your uh, oil cooler here. There'll be a drain cock on it as well. Um, well, obviously on the Dash CF, the engine's back towards the middle of the truck. So I already got this uh, clamp off this boot here. I got the clamp off my turbo. Uh, so pull this out of the way, give you some more accessibility don't lose your o-ring for your turbo then I've already pulled this thermostat I've already pulled it out uh, let me show you the tube that it had on there originally so this is the original tube here uh, it came from the factory uh, this hose is uh, they tend to start to break down Usually I see it internally, and then eventually it will blow out, but you'll get a, a hole like right here in the middle. Uh, so anytime I replace my thermostat, I like to go and get a tube like this. Kind of hard to see here. But you'll actually notice on these blue ones, it's a better material. Um, the lining is a little thicker. Um, it looks like there's more of the, the the stream strands in the middle than on the black version. So I always swap it out with this one, and it's also a tighter fit. So we'll uh, put that on there later. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of clean up some of this corrosion here, um, and definitely on this bottom side where the thermostat seal seals, because. Um, under pressure, yeah, it was just seeping out from this area, so. Look, case in point, this is a unit that we're just now working on, T took it on test drive and blew as soon as we were on test drive. So it, you can see it kind of starts from that inside and then busts out the, from inside out and just rips it apart. So that's why we always change that hose. All right, so we're just gonna clean this guy up here. That's the old hose. So we're just gonna clean up around the lip here, and definitely we'll make sure and get right here where the uh, thermos, where the thermostat housing is. We'll get right here. Still feel like some pitting on here probably get some uh, emery cloth you could really feel the raised areas so I'm just trying to get that as smooth as possible. All right, it feels pretty smooth. Let's get our thermostat. Actually, we'll come over here to the truck. Let me clean this up a little bit here. All right. 
right. So we took our air air tube off. It's just two. What is it like? Ten millimeter. Yeah. So the bolts. There's two ten millimeter bolts. And it's kind of hard to see. All right. So that's the location of the thermostats. Two ten millimeter bolts. Uh, so what I like to do is get this pipe out of the way a little bit and uh, clean up that area. Let's see. <coughs> I'll take some of that emery cloth and clean that up as well. All right, so we got that all cleaned up. It's looking better. Let's get our thermostat. So this is going to be another video I'm going to do here. It's a new L9. They um, built the crankcase filter into the valve cover. So they took a, I don't know, like a 10 to 20 minute job and turned it into three hours. So I'm going to end up having to pull off EGR valve and then the crossover tube as well just to get the valve cover off not to mention get your valve cover off if you need to go ahead and replace the gasket probably so but that's another video okay this is our part number for our thermostat it's a 5273379 from Cummins so open it up here thermostat and we will install it spring up Let's fit in there just like that It'll be a little bit difficult I'll probably just set the thermostat down in the hole first then put my tube on top it's gonna be the easiest way to do okay as you can see I've got the thermostat over the hole I'm actually going to try to line this up with some of the wear marks I already see. It kind of gets me uh, a little bit closer to lining the tube up. I'm going to grab my tube and go right over top of the thermostat. Definitely don't want any like pinching or anything on this seal. Somebody else has a better. Uh, method of doing this you know uh comment let's hear it we need some suggestions anyways and then we'll just get our long uh extension with a 10 millimeter I always try to use this magnet, uh, like a magnet tool, to put the bolt back in. <sighs> Hands don't really fit down there too well. I'm just gonna slide off. There we go. It's my extension to get it started by hand.
So this is the uh, blue hose uh, replacement that I'm using for the thermostat housing. Uh, it has a Napa number 1536. Okay, so here's what I found on Napa's website, NapaAutoParts.com. So it is a part number NBH1536, and that is for the silicone hose, two and a quarter, and it's three foot long for $45. All right, got a box cutter. Here's our old hose here. So I'm just gonna make it about the same size. Doesn't have to be exact. Because honestly, the uh, the top tube, the top upper radiator hose. butts up pretty close to flush with the thermostat housing. Save that for him for the next one. I'll try to show you guys the gap there. See, there's not much. You see enough to get your clamps on them. This one down on the thermostat housing. Should probably be smarter just to go ahead and lube this up with some silver line. So I'm gonna go ahead and lube at least one side of this. My plan is to shove it down on the thermostat housing far enough where I can get the upper pipe on. It's gonna kinda work this pick around. Almost there. Okay, so we got finally got the blue hose reinstalled. I guess the big thing you could do is maybe you can see in the video, um, what I kept doing was filling, I was filling the pipe and it has on um, both of them, on the housing and then on the upper radiator hose, it uh, has like a lip on it. So you wanna get that clamp above the upper one and below the thermostat housing so that it's got that, that barrier, you know, to grab onto won't slide past it won't slip off so uh next uh we'll put our air to air tube back on uh make sure i just don't need to leave it off for the valve cover okay just figured i'd show you guys so this is where the uh cac tube goes from the from the uh, charger air cooler to the turbo um, so I had to remove that. It just goes from here up and around to the turbo. So I had to remove that to do the thermostat. Um, just kind of gets it out of the way. You can see where this tube is in correlation with the thermostat. So move ahead and leave this off because on my next job I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull this valve cover off. So it'll give me a little extra room to get to this crossover tube here. Just leave that off for now. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the coolant reservoir. So we got our coolant topped off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pressurize the system. Cause I'm a big uh, 
fan of verifying your work. Last thing you want to do is turn something out and it comes back 20 minutes later. That's embarrassing. Alright, so we got our stamp, pressurizer. If you get your pressurizer on, I go up to about 15 pounds. What do you do with your cap though? 15 to 16. Alright, I got it at 15 psi. Now we'll go check our thermostat because originally that is where it was leaking that was the housing where the bolts are at. Yeah, I would say we were uh, looking pretty dry. Looking pretty good there. So that's the base of the thermostat housing. And before it was running down along the frame or along the, uh, the head here the block and then it was running off at the back corner so try to do a top shot here looking good and dry before you could see it coming out of the back right there and then running down so success yay all right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a little while since I've posted. Uh, well, hopefully you learned a little bit. Uh, the L9 thermostat housing is super easy. Uh, and the Dash CF cab, it's even easier because it's in the middle of the engine. There's plenty of room to work. So uh, stay tuned. Um, on my next video, I'm gonna go over the L9, uh, the built-in uh, crankcase filter. Uh, I don't know why they decided to incorporate the crankcase filter into the valve cover, but we'll go over it. It should be pretty simple. But I've never done one before. Uh, it's a new engine, so stay tuned for that one. That one should probably be coming out in the next week or two. So thanks. Remember, don't just follow the wolves. Leave the pack. Later.